Yeah, what's good? Lions, Bears. Lions finally fucking win. 37 to 34 in overtime to the Chicago Bears. And I'm going to tell you something about this game. I ain't going to lie. The Bears made me nervous as fuck. This game made me nervous as fuck. And I'm going to tell you why right now. Special teams. T.J. Jones. Nigga. The special teams was fucking trash as fuck. T.J. Jones, when he when he tried to catch the ball, like, you know when he tried to fair catch this shit? This motherfucker going to run all, he going to run like 50 yards sideways to try to catch the ball. And then muff the damn ball, and then the Bears get it back. See, I'm going to talk about the bad right now. I'm going to talk about the bad stuff that happened in the game first, and then the good stuff. I ain't like that shit. Then again, Corey Fuller, he he got ran into the ball, and the Bears got the ball back. The Bears got another possession. See, I think the Lions gave up 17 points like real shit, though. I think they really did give up like 17 points in this game. 17 points. That shouldn't have been 17 points to the fucking Bears. <laughs> we gave up 17 points. Not just because of our defense, but special teams put them in position. That they kept giving the Bears short field so they can get a touchdown. Them should have been two touchdowns in the field goal wiped off the board right there. The Bears only had, what, maybe 17 points, realistically. They should have had only 17 points to win. And realistically, the Lions should have had 34 points to win the game. Actually, no, not 30, not 30, um, uh, four, but... That's a bad thing that happened. Another bad thing. Um, another bad thing that happened. Defense. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Jake Jay Cutler, he was carving us the fuck up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. He was. It's like the Lions, they was getting pressure on him, but they wasn't completing the tackle. Say like, they was getting a little bit of pressure on him, but they wasn't like they only got one interception from Jay Cutler. They was getting pressure from him, but they wasn't actually getting to him. You know what I'm saying? Because Jay Cutler can scramble a little bit and shit. But still, like motherfuckers was missing tackles. You know how many sacks the Lions could have had in this game? They could have had at least five or six sacks in this game. Like no bullshit. They could at least have five to six sacks easily. But motherfuckers went tackling. Motherfuckers missing tackles and shit. That shit was sickening. It was making me mad as fuck. That shit was making me mad, though. I couldn't believe this shit. I was getting pissed. Oh, my God. The defense is trash today. Rasheem Matthews gave up a big play, but he, he made up for it with the interception. Now, Darius Slay, this motherfucker, <laughs> Darius Slay getting clowned in this game, man. He getting big play Slay. Get the fuck out of here. Big play, my ass. The only one that's getting big, making big plays on is your ass. Every time a team gets a big play, every time it's a big play happening, it's always against you. It's not you making the big play. It's the other team making the big play. That's why they call you big play slate because other teams making big plays on you. Like that, like that, that, that fluke ass, um, 40, I think it was 49 yard pass from Jay Culler to, um, Alshon Jeffrey. That fluke ass pass. If that if motherfucker if the motherfucker didn't miss the fucking sack, it would it wouldn't have been no forty nine yard fucking pass. But it was a fluke ass pass anyway, and Slade did not stop the shit at all. Slade got fucking killed by Ashan Jeffrey. Real shit. And another motherfucking thing that made me fucking mad, dog. What the fuck? Josh Wilson. This motherfucker. Why the fuck did they put him on fucking Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey got at least at least seven inch, eight inch advantage over this motherfucker. And you're going to put the nickel corner on an outside receiver. That is beyond retarded, if you ask me. That is retarded as fuck. Why would you do that? A, a nickel corner 
on an outside receiver that has an eight inch advantage over this motherfucker, a seven to eight inch advantage over this motherfucker. Why the fuck would you do that? Number two, Josh Wilson, he committed. No, he committed a passing. He committed two passing interference calls, and then the next play, big play slay, caused a big penalty again towards the Bears. He he got another passing interference just towards the end of the game in the fourth quarter. The only reason why the Bears got got close in the red zone within 21 seconds is because. The motherfuckers was getting passed in the fears. That shit was killing our ass. I was getting mad as fuck. I was getting mad. That shit was making me so angry. I'm happy that we won, but there's some shit in this game that pissed me the fuck off. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm not completely satisfied the way we fucking played towards the end of the game. Because we should have we should have blown these motherfuckers out. Real shit. It shouldn't even been close. This game shouldn't have been close to begin with. But motherfuckers doing dumbass shit like that. I hated that fucking shit. Shit made me mad. <laughs> Hate that fucking shit. Two pa three passing three passing interference calls in a row. Shit made me mad as hell. I'm like that's unheard of. That's unbelievable. But motherfuckers giving up big plays like big plays. Slate giving up big plays week after week. This motherfucker had so many. I think the he lead the Lions in the most yards given up by a corner. He does. He he leads the Lions um, defensive backs in the most given up yards. He does. But every time they always get deep passes on Darius Slay. That's his weakness, and people seeing that shit. He cannot he cannot cover deep. He's not a he's not a good um, deep cover corner. He can't he can't cover people that deep as we can see now. He's not good at it. You can he can cover intermediate and short routes, but he can't cover deep. He's not good at it. You can clearly see it. They did this shit with Emmanuel Sanders, Marius Emmanuel Sanders, um, motherfucking um, Marius Thomas. They both caught deep balls on this motherfucker. Um, they both mossed his ass, motherfucking. Uh, last week he got mossed by um, who he got mossed by? Josh um, Josh Brown. He got mossed by him. That shit is sickening. It's fucking sickening. Slay is getting fucking mossed every fucking week. He getting he got mossed by Keenan Allen. I mean, oh my god, that shit was making me mad, dog. And he in this game, he's still getting mossed. If he keep playing like this, man, I'm sorry, but he have to the fucking bench, man. You can't keep playing like that, man. You can't keep giving up big ass plays like that. What the fuck? The defensive line won't get no pressure to the quarterback. That's gonna piss me off. Because we go against Minnesota next week. Now, the Lions, they was giving up run plays at the beginning of the game. They was kind of giving up big runs. And then when it got to the second half, they was stopping the run like a motherfucker, though. Another bad thing that happened, Amir Abdullah and Zach Zerner went down with injuries. I think they'll be both. But Amir Abdullah came back in the game, though. But still, I think Amir Abdullah, he, they threw him out the game. Now, this, they threw him out the game because he fumbled the ball again. <laughs> But yeah, not, I'm about to get into the good stuff now. He fumbled the ball. That's why they put him out the game. But before that fumble, Amir Abdullah was carving their ass up. He really was. He was lighting their ass up in the running game before he fumbled the ball. He was getting big chunks of yards every time he ran the ball. So Amir Abdullah was doing his thing, but he needed his he needed to stop fumbling the ball. Just stop fumbling the ball. If he don't fumble the ball, he'll be all right. He'll be straight. You know what I'm saying? He'll be okay. Because he's not a bad running back. He's not bad. He's not trash. He just fumbles the fucking rock too much. Theo Riddick did his thing too, though. He was in that bitch, running that bitch a little bit. Shit, even though I think Abdullah faster than him, but they, they look alike on the field sometimes. <laughs> they about the same fucking size. Shit. Maybe maybe Riddick a little bit bigger, but he's still they around the same damn size. They they just, they got similar skill sets. Even though I think um, Riddick is a better receiver, but it's whatever. Um, Zach Zinner he was doing the same shit. He was carving their ass up until he got. 
I think he got a bruised chest. He got the wind knocked out of him and all that shit. But Zinner was doing this fucking thing too. He was running all over this fucking defense. Zinner was doing this shit. I'm like, hell yeah. My dad is a fan of Zach Zinner. He's starting to grow on me now, man. I'm starting to, I'm starting to get on the train of Zach Zinner, man, because this dude be beasted. And he's faster than you think he is. He ain't like Droid Bell. Everybody think he like Droid Bell. No, he's faster than Droid Bell. He actually have enough speed to take it to the house. That's how fast he is. He ain't like Droid Bell. He was, <laughs> he's a legitimate threat to take that bitch to the house. So he's faster than he looks. I'm like, damn, this dude getting up there quick. Abdullah, he got some speed too, shit. But he need to stop forming the fucking rock. God damn it. Another thing. Calvin Johnson had a big ass game. The offensive line was they gave up a sack or two. I, I ain't like that shit, but for the most part they did they did do their job in this game. They did open up running lanes. They did block the staffer for the most part. So they did a they did a decent job in this game. I'm not gonna shit on the offensive line completely. Even though I, I don't like them giving up sacks and shit. But then again that some of that had to do with Stafford holding on to the ball way too fucking long. Oh, yeah, another bad play. Stafford, he threw a pick in this game. Even though I think he was under pressure when he threw that shit, though. This motherfucker was falling to the ground when he threw the fucking pick. So I'm not going to harp on him too much about that shit. Stafford, man, I told everybody, I told you, I fucking told you that Stafford is going to have a big-ass game. I told you. I told you he was going to put up 400. I told you he's going to have at least four touchdowns. Y'all, nobody believed me, though. I said he's going to he's gonna have a big-ass game. I'm like, after getting benched and all the criticism, you think he ain't going to you think he ain't gonna show the fuck up this week? I'm like, stop about to light these motherfuckers up. I told my dad that she was like, no, man, the Bears go, they're going to come in and probably beat the Lions, you know. Man, I'm like, hell no. I'm like, stop it. He's due for a big game. He's going to have one. He's, when he, this is his best game of the season by far. And not just the season. This is one of his best games of his career. <laughs> this dude was just, Stafford was lighting the Bears' ass up, man. He was chewing their ass alive. He really was. This dude was just throwing. See, I like that they, they put Joe Lombardi in the fucking box. They put him in the box. They need to keep him in the box. Cause the all, and I also like the play call in this game. Finally, no shitty ass garbage ass play call. Except the, they kept doing the fucking bubble screens. But other than that, they they the Lions didn't play scared offensively today. They really didn't. They took way more shots down the field. They took more shots down the field. They they threw a pass to <laughs> they threw a pass the line of scrimmage. Finally. Shit, I I said if they stop doing this bubble screen bullshit and throw down the fucking field, that this offense can be fucking unstoppable. Calvin Johnson was just killing their ass this whole game. Him and Lance Moore, with, him and Lance Moore had a hundred yards to, over a hundred yards today. Him and Lance Moore and Golden Tate damn near had a hundred yards. There was three of them motherfuckers was carving their ass the fuck up, and Tim Wright was doing some shit too a little bit. Even though I want Ebron back. Because if Ebron was in this bitch. <laughs> Ebron was in this bitch. It was in the rap. Ebron would have been carving their ass the fuck up. This would have been a good game for his ass to come back. But I think he'd probably be back next week against the Minnesota Vikings. But, yeah, like, shit. It was carving. Stafford had a big. This is probably one of the best games of his career. And one of the best. This is by far his best game of the season so far. Um, staff would just psh, lighten they ass up. Like he made that he made their defense look like shit. There was nobody on the team that could. Stafford was picking apart that fucking defense. Like the Bears' defense looked like shit when they was trying to get the Stafford and all this shit. He was man. He was just he was being a surgeon on the fucking field today, man. I'm like, this dude is due for a big ass game. I'm telling you, I just, I just have a funny ass feeling. He gonna, he gonna come on and light their ass up, and that's exactly what the fuck he did. He put up 37 on their ass, four touchdowns. You know, shit, threw over 50 percent of his fucking passes, lighting their ass up. 
make the try have 166 um yards and two touchdowns in this game. Make a try. He, he had two touchdowns in this game and 166 um receiving yards. Go to Tate. Nah, I'm gonna go to this play real quick. Golden Tate had a touchdown. This was controversial. I think the I think the Bears got hold a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. They got hold because Golden Tate he he caught the ball, but they made his ass fumble. I think he fumbled. I think they knocked the ball out of his hand though. I don't know. They they didn't know it was picked off, and I don't know if it was an actual interception because he actually corralled the ball, and then he they knocked it out of his hand. So it it could go either way, but that was a makeup play. That was a complete makeup call for the fucking Lions after that Seahawks shit. After that Seahawks shit a couple weeks ago. After they hold the Lions in that game, they definitely made it up for this fucking game. You could tell. They, and the refs, they was on the Lions' side all game. I'm not going to lie. They, they actually gave the Lions the benefit of the doubt today. Now, I'm not going to bullshit. They, people were like, man, no, man. Even though the Lions, I think they were lighting their ass up any fucking way. Stafford was busting their ass like I said he was going to. I hope they continue to play like this, man. Cause this offense, they was, they was dynamite. They every time they went on the field, they was driving on the field like it was nothing to it. I'm telling you, if Stafford gets time to throw the ball like he did today, if he gets time to throw the ball and receivers get open, and they actually throw down the field and play motivated, this team can be unstoppable on offense. But it's the Bears, though. I'm not going to get too excited, you know what I'm saying? Because we played against the shit, the toilet go poo bears. We played against these whack motherfuckers, so I'm not going to get too excited. So I'm not going to get too excited until we probably go 3-0 and going into the bye. If we go 3-5 and going into the bye, we, our, chan our chances is much, 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 much better. Because... After the bye, we go against Green Bay and Lambeau. That might be a loss right there, though. But you never fucking know. This is the NFL. But Green Bay, they ain't looking. Aaron Rodgers has been so-so this year. He ain't been like that now. But still, like, yeah, man, we got we to gotta play better on special teams, man. That's all I got to fucking say about that. But congratulations, Lions. I'm happy we won. I don't want to come up here and rant on the fucking lines. I don't feel like doing that shit sometimes. Now, I want to give this team credit sometimes. I don't feel like coming up on here shitting on my fucking team all the goddamn time. That shit gets old. And it's sickening to my damn stomach. Nah, I'm mad. I'm still mad as fuck that Michigan lost in the, in the last 10 seconds of the game. That shit was sickening. Shit was fucking sickening. But the Lions made up for that shit, man, so fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Next week, we go against the Minnesota uh, Vikings at home. This is going to be a tough-ass game because you know how – you know how – I think you already know what their game plan is, beat Adrian Peterson the ball 50 fucking times a game You are, and have Bridgewater throw the ball maybe five times a game. That's it. That's the game plan. Have him throw the ball maybe maybe five, six times in the game and have Adrian Peterson get like 40 fucking carries. You know their fucking game plan. So all you got to do is stop Adrian Peterson. If you do that, you pretty much good. You know what I'm saying? So you stop Adrian Peterson, the Vikings they have no offense. You stop you stop that, it's over. Their offense is over. It's it's over for them. They got after Adrian Peterson, do they they, they have nothing offensively. Cause you don't I don't see Bridgewater carving us up like that for real. That's why they having the ball over to um child abuser. And I'm still mad about that fucking week two loss, but that shit ain't I think Lions are gonna win next week too. They need to come out in this game, play motivated against the uh, Vikings. They need to play like how they play today offensively. They need to come out motivated. They need to take more chances in the game. Oh yeah, I like I like that fake punt that the Lions did. In the, I like that fake punt the uh, uh, East Abdul Kadus. They they fake punt and he ran the ball for a big for a big chunk change of yards. You know what I'm saying? Big change of yards, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I, I like the Lions and how the way to play, man. They need to play. They need to play like this more often on the offense. 
Keep Lombardi in that fucking box so they communicate better. Keep Lombardi in the fucking box. Have this. They need to. They need to stay motivated and still stay confident. Okay, they need to stay confident and motivated. Cause that's. A, I told people they're gonna win off of motivation. They need to stay motivated. They need to stay motivated going into the box. Seriously, and stay motivated for the rest of the fucking season. I know we got a long hill to climb because we we one and five now. I know people are like our playoff chances is over. You you might be right. Our play playoff chances is might be over. But shit. We need to play fucking motivated motherfucking football. Shit. That's how I fucking feel. But I got nothing too much to say about this. Oh, yeah, Judah Tribe. How does it feel now, bitch? How does it feel now, motherfucker? To fucking lose, asshole. Coming in my fucking comment session saying Owen and all this bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, that's why Stafford lit your ass up. Asshole. How you feel now? And he gonna do it again when we play you later on in the year. Or light your ass up again. Because you suck. Your team sucks. I'm out of here. You suck, toilet go, pool bears. You suck. I'm out. Peace.